Sam Praram Badha. Let's begin with the main stories. World Health Day being observed today. Despite several achievements in the health sector, large section of Nepal's population remains deprived of health services. Management of human resource a major challenge. Complaints can be lodged against candidates of the by-elections slated for April 27 today. Final list of candidates to be published Tuesday by assigning election symbols. Israel-Hamas conflict marks six months today. Opponents of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rally against the government, demanding a hostage deal. Negotiators to meet in Cairo to attempt a ceasefire. And Arsenal maintain their pursuit of a first Premier League title for 20 years as they move top of the table with an impressive 3 0 win over Brighton. Liverpool play Manchester United tonight. Nepal has made great achievements in the health sector in the past two decades. In the past, Nepali nationals were compelled to go abroad for treatment of heart, kidney, and liver related ailments. However, such treatments are now available in the country. Great progress has been made in ophthalmology or the treatment of eyes as well. Despite these strides, a large section of the population remains deprived of health services because of issues including poor management of human resource and expansion of scope. Nepal has made significant progress in transplant of kidney and liver along with treatment of cancer and heart-related diseases. However, these achievements are inadequate. With around 3,000 annual cases of kidney failure, only around 300 are transplanted. With the need of around 1,000 liver transplants, only 15 were transplanted this year. To add to that, these services are largely limited to Kathmandu. Despite developing the treatment capacity, the government has failed in ensuring sound management of human resource and ensuring access to health services for everyone. A study conducted in 2019 has shown that 24.5% of the age group of 15 to 69 had high blood pressure, with 5.8% suffering from diabetes and 3% with heart-related diseases. According to the data of the Ministry of Health and Population, 21,500 new patients of cancer were added in the fiscal year 2022-23. The government has implemented several policies and strategies to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals of 2030. For this, targets are to be achieved related to maternal mortality, infant mortality and nutrition. The Ministry of Health and Population has also said that despite ongoing efforts to ensure proper management of human resources and increasing health services, several challenges persist. Treatment of eye-related diseases in Nepal is considered the best in the world. Intraocular lens produced in Nepal has a global demand. In addition to Nepali nationals, even the foreigners arrive in Nepal for treatment of eyes. Nepal has also received awards for its efforts in curbing maternal and infant mortality rates. Despite these achievements, more needs to be done. Therefore, while the World Health Day is being observed, the government must increase its efforts to expand public access to health services. Highways in the mountainous and hilly regions of the country are in a dilapidated condition, making travel very risky. Karnali Highway is the most dangerous and risky highway in the country. Some even call the highway the way to death. Truck drivers say they are compelled to drive their trucks on the road, which is often damaged by landslides. The road is narrow and has many bends and turns. It is muddy in the rainy season and dusty in winter. Even as the rainy season is approaching, the damaged bridges along the highway have not been repaired. At many places, bridges do not even exist. Construction companies' delay in maintenance works and inadequate budget have been challenges in maintaining national highways. As landslides occur in highways in Lumini, Karnali and Sudhir Pashtim provinces and the highways are not free from big potholes, travellers on these highways are facing high risk of being involved in accidents. Officials at the ministry believe geographical condition in the mountainous and high hilly regions has been the problem in improving the old highways and extending them. Due to this, Mugu, Dolpa and Humla districts have not been linked to highways and the residents there are suffering. Although there is a plan to integrate Humla to a highway this year, there is no plan to construct a bridge over a river along the highway. The road to Dolpa is also being blacktopped, however, with insufficient budget. The condition of the highways in Sudhir Pashtim province are also in a sorry state. In our public waste segment, we have asked in several provinces what should be done to maintain the status of the highways. Let us now take a look at what they had to say. बनाउने बाटो बनाउने सम्बन्धी निकाय 
हरुले पनि बेलामै मर्मत समार गर्दिनु पर्यो स्थानीय पावले चाहिँ नि आर चाहिँ नि हेर्नु पर्यो अब बजेट कति लाग्छ त्यो तर्जुमा गर्दिनु पर्यो यसको लागि सम्बन्धित पक्षले जिम्मेवार भएर यसको ठीक समयमा उपचार गर्न सक्यो भने स्थानीय निकायले सडकको अनुगमन गरेर त्यसलाई नेताबड़ नहीं कहीं पहल करो आपको बाटो घाटो कह बिग्रिया के वहाँ चुने के चुने को तस्तु सड़क हम सरकार ने स्थानीय सरकार समय में पहल रो दिपो स्थानीय सरकार प्रदेश सरकार बजेट निशा को प्रक्रिया अगड़ी बढ़ा पो जब समय स्थानीय उपभोक्ता चाशो राख्ते तब समय यह मर्म समार में अलग कठिनाई नहीं हो जिस ठूलठूल आप काम कर संबंधी है तेरह आगे बजेट अलग घुस नखाईकन राम तरीका राम सदुपयोग में लाने आपको काम चाहे निष्पक्ष तरीका स्थानीय सहयोग ने ठेकेदार ने समय में काम कर सरकार गंभीर हो समय में काम कर Based on the schedule for the by-election of April 27 issued by the Commission of Election, complaints can be lodged against candidates if they are ineligible to contest the poll on legal grounds today. According to the Election Commission schedule, complaints can be filed today while the grievances are to be investigated. On Tuesday, the 9th of April, candidacies can be withdrawn, the final list of candidates is also to be published, and the candidates are to be assigned the election symbol. By-elections are to be held at the set voting centers from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. on April 27. The Apex Election Authority, the Election Commission, has also urged all eligible voters to exercise their franchise. The Commission had registered the candidacies in Ilam and Bazang yesterday. According to the Commission, 12 candidates from political parties and 8 independent candidates had registered their candidacies for the by-election of the House of Representatives in Elam Electoral Constituency 2, while 12 aspirants from political parties had registered their candidacies for a province assembly seat in Bozhang. Chief Minister of Madhis Province, Soros Kumar Yadav, stated that the federal government cannot neglect the provinces that have been making significant contributions to the country's economy and played an important role to introduce federalism in the country. Speaking at the Virganj Bani, a conclave acknowledging and focusing on industrial employment and revenue potential of Birganj, organized by Kantipur Media Group in Birganj, Chief Minister Yadav reminded of the role of the residents of Birganj's place to bring federalism in the country. Yadav said, Birganj has given a lot to the center and questioned whether the federal government provided the city with required needs. He also complained that the center has been interfering despite the lapse of seven years since federalism was introduced in the country. Chief Minister Yadav informed that the prior alliance of the federal government had introduced a project worth around 1 billion rupees for irrigation management in Madhya province, but the project has been in disarray after the change in the political equation in the center. He suggested the federal government to take advice from industrialists and business persons of provinces while formulating the budget. Chief Minister Yadav also urged to allocate the budget on the basis of population. Also addressing the program chairperson, of Kantipur Media Group, Kailas Siroya said that moral of industrialists and business persons has been declining because of the country's unstable financial policy. He also said that the economic debate programs organized by Kantipur Media Group at the provinces by prioritizing the public, industrialists and business persons has opened the door to economic prosperity. It is now time for our segment Public Pulse where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse the question is, why is problem seen from time to time in managing waste of the Kathmandu Valley? Your options are A. Agreement not implemented, B. Politics in waste management, and C. Incapable local level. The voting is on. Type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And now before we wrap up, here's a look into the top stories one more time. World Health Day being observed today. Despite several achievements in the health sector, a large section of Nepal's population remains deprived of health services. Management of human resources a major challenge. Complaints can be lodged against candidates of the by-election slated for April 27 today. Final list of candidates to be published Tuesday by assigning election symbols. Israel-Hamas conflict marks six months today. Opponents of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rally against the government, demanding a hostage deal. Negotiators to meet in Cairo to attempt to reach a ceasefire. 
And Arsenal maintain their pursuit of a Premier League first run in 20 years as they move top of the table with an impressive 3 0 win over Brighton. Liverpool play Manchester United tonight. That is all for the moment. Our next news bulletin airs at 6 pm. Thank you for staying with us. Have a beautiful day ahead.